Welcome back to Fauvism. Remember what Fauvism is? It's a style of painting with vivid, expressionistic, and bright, vivid use of color. This movement flourished in Paris in 1905. Matisse was regarded as this movement's leading figure. At this point in our project, you've already taken notes on the Fauvism movement, and you've already used a grid system to increase the size of your portrait to fit your canvas. Some of you have already used some acrylic in your compositions, but we are all at different stages of completion. On top of that, we are completely online, so we have limited art materials. With that in mind, I want to make some adjustments to this assignment so that it's possible for you to complete it at home. <clears throat> so here are some adjustments. Let's talk about color blending. Because we each have limited access to acrylics, I also want to allow you to use watercolor in this assignment. So this is going to be not just acrylic, it's going to be mixed media. You're going to be using watercolor and acrylic in order to complete this assignment. Um, Fauvism is all about vivid color and to only have three or four color options makes it really, really challenging. So I want to increase the amount of color options you have by including watercolor in this assignment. Um, I just want to give you some um, reminders because you are now at your house and not in the art studio. You need to be extra careful when you're painting at home. Select a space at your house where there is ample room for you to work. It also needs to be a protected enough space for your work to be able to dry overnight. I know acrylic dries really quickly, but watercolor doesn't. So you definitely need to have a space that... Um, is big enough and protected enough to let your canvas dry. You'll need to place newspaper or scratch material between your canvas and your work surface. We don't want to add color, especially Fauvist color, to like your dining room table, for example. It's really important at this stage in the painting for you to go slow. Allow your paint to dry before you add more layers, otherwise it will blend into what you've already done in a way that you don't want. So make sure when you're com coming in with a new color next to one that you've already painted, make sure that first color is already dry before you add more color next to it. When mixing your colors, please refer to a color wheel. You can just Google search one so you have it for reference. Um, you'll need to be considering uh, complementary colors because in Fauvism it's all about colors that don't actually exist in nature. Um, but you don't want to be so garish that you look like an alien. So a way to ground your Fauvist portrait in reality is to be using complementary colors, even if they are bold and unnatural. If it's a complementary palette without, throughout your entire composition, um, you won't look like an alien, I promise. So another reminder, since you'll be making art at home, for the cleanup process, be sure to rinse out your brushes carefully. They're on loan from our art studio, so they need to um, be preserved well. So rinse them out, let them dry. I assume you'll use a sink that has other purposes besides art, so be extra vigilant. You don't want to get like paint inside someone else's food. And then something else for you to consider is to have a plan in place before you actually start painting, so know in advance like how much of that canvas you're want, going to want to work on. Um, I also recommend doing multiple color studies throughout the process because you'll find now that you're adding watercolor into the mix um, that you might need to explore some different options of layering and, and blending and it's always best to do that as a color study in your sketchbook before you make it final onto your canvas. Today I'm going to share an updated grading rubric with you so you can keep track of these new expectations and with these guidelines in place I now want to switch gears and show you a time-lapse compilation of my progress so far on my self-portrait. I spent several hours over the last week in different settings, so I hope you are able to see this and get some inspiration. Please watch especially how I blend my colors, how I layer um, the colors on my canvas over time in different sittings, and how I use both acrylics and watercolor Sometimes they're separate and other times I've actually layered them. So watch for that and please enjoy.